now uh, this is uh, question number 65 this is ts3 question number 65 paper 1 now i have already uh, discussed uh, question number 64 so first of all go through the 64 64 there's a passage type question so go through 64 first and then you can uh, listen 65th question now in 65th question again like 64th question gx is given right and and uh, we have to find the simplified value of gx or uh, gx is equal to gx is a quadratic polynomial right we need to figure out uh, what will be the simplified value of gx uh, gx is a quadratic polynomial now you can see in this uh, case like we solved question number 64th um, like uh, by inspection we can see if we replace x equals to x1 right as we did in the last question x equals to x1 we replace I replace x1 here this x minus x1 becomes 0 so this whole term is vanished similarly if I replace x by x1 here this whole term is vanished and if I replace x by x1 here right this becomes x1 this becomes x1 this cancels out with this this cancels out with this so g of or in, 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 instead I, I i'll suggest you you take hx function as we did in case of 64 hx we assume as gx minus x square minus x right so h of x1 is g of x1 minus x1 square minus x x1 so g of x1 we have just seen on simplification g of x1 is equal to x x1 square minus x1 how because you can see when i replace x equal to x1 this becomes 0 this becomes 0 and on on cancelling these two factors from numerator and denominator we get x1 square minus x1 minus x1 square plus x1 cancels out so you can see h of x1 is 0 the function hx we have taken in such a way that it is 0 for x1 and similarly you can show h of x2 as well as h of x3 equal to 0 just by replacing uh, x, x, x by x2 in h and then observing g of x2 is 0 as we did for g of x1 right so again it's a quadratic polynomial 0 for 3 values x equals to x1 x equals to x2 and x equals to x3 and you know quadratic polynomial uh, graph is parabola and parabola cannot intersect x axis in three points whereas we have shown here there are three points for which par uh, y is zero h x is zero so it means it's an identity if if quadratic equation have quadratic equation has more than two roots then it is an identity it means it is zero for all values of x so it means h x equal to zero for all x belongs to r right it means uh, h x equal to g x minus x square minus x equal to 0 for all x belongs to r this implies hx equals to um, sorry this implies gx equals to x square minus x for all x belongs to r so this is what we were uh, supposed to do simplification of gx and if you look at the choices this is uh, b choice answer is b choice now um, mm, uh, 